What's up, my pilots? Angry Puncher here, and we're back playing the seventh guest. I had a bit of a misunderstanding well, it should be with as this easy puzzle as in the last episode. I assumed, just from the way it looked, uh, that it had to be a puzzle where you wrote three words this way, like dog yet tab, and three words vertically uh, as well. But I sat down off screen and I sort of ran the numbers in my head and I looked Look, at. It's a magic spell puzzle. Magic spell puzzle, yes, I know. I ran the numbers off screen and I figured out, I actually proved that it's impossible to make three words go this way and three words go that way. It's a. Uh, there's literally no way to accomplish that. I actually found a rudimentary but Im unprofessional proof that says that you can't do it. So I uh, looked around online and found out that you're supposed to just spell three words in this direction, which I'm not sure. I guess he's, you guys heard that Stoff said at the beginning, three words is all it takes, and I thought it meant like in each direction. I just it didn't occur to me what, what that hint was supposed to mean. I also didn't think that Tad would be a word. So, get boy Tad. Which is what everyone seems to be trying to do in this game. Solution makes sense in retrospect. Alright, Stalf. Ooh, what have we got here? I want to go down through there. Oh, that just does to me back up. Uh, okay. Well, we shall exit this way then. Why not? I also discovered online that there is indeed a puzzle in the hallway. Oh, I, I got that entirely from uh, one of the sites I looked at. It had the words hallway puzzle on it. And so now I presume that there is indeed a puzzle down in the hallway and that they don't mean the one in the foyer or something. So, we'll head up there next and have a look around and see if I can find this puzzle, which I've apparently been overlooking the entire game. <laughs> I don't know. I looked at all the paintings, I thought, but I suppose it must be on something. Maybe it's on the ceiling. We haven't had a puzzle on the ceiling yet, have we? We've had quite a few on, on rugs and on floors, but the ceiling has been suspiciously puzzle-free. Yeah, yeah, I think, I think that's a fair statement to say that it's... Suspiciously so. South would pull something like that, where you'd look up and there'd be something terrifying above you. That sounds fair, doesn't it? In fact, it sounds just like something Stoff would do. Okay, well, there can't be anything down there, it's just doors. So, it must be the other way. I bet it's that table that we that we didn't really do much with. There has to be something there. They wouldn't put furniture in the hallway and, and have it... Uh, look like a whole room without there being something going on, right? Let's have a look and see. So, yeah, I thought we'd looked at this previously. I went just went past a painting here. I'm not sure if you can stop and look at it, though. There's, you can only turn and look at the doors. Let's see. No, this painting doesn't seem to do anything either. I should be checking the ceiling as we go if I actually think there's any value to my theory. Let's move forward again. What about this painting? Anything going on here? Nope, this takes me right down to the door. Uh, that's not what I want. Go back! Oh, the transom's open. That's kind of interesting, just a note. Alright, what am I missing here? It's on the floor over here or something, and I just didn't notice it because it's dark. Hmm. It's really weird, I'll tell you that. Have we looked at the hallway from this angle yet? I'm 
nothing on the floor down here, it seems. If my mouse movement seems strange, it would behoove you to remind yourself I have recently changed to an ergonomic mouse and I'm still not quite used to it. Really though, is there seriously a, a puzzle in this hallway? Maybe it yeah, was in the beta and it got taken out or something because I don't, I don't see where I'm missing it. Let's look at the map. I'm standing near to the door, which I suppose is the only door which we haven't unlocked yet. The basement's done, we've checked that before. So, let's see what we got. Oh, the stairs are open upstairs. Yeah, there isn't a puzzle in the hallway. Maybe there's another hallway in the third floor or something. Oh, wouldn't that just be crazy? Can't go up the stairs with that. Oh, can we? Not on the map, I mean. Alright, well. I suppose it's time to ascend once again to the tippy top. If I remember correctly, Stauff is waiting for us in the attic. I don't know how many of these guests survived this encounter. Actually, I think the descriptions at the, at the beginning said that they all died. Uh, but we, I think we know the, the manner of at least three or four of their deaths. And we also know that Stauff is waiting for us upstairs. Ah! Perhaps this is the hallway puzzle. The door knocker, it seems. How does this work? Okay. I think I see what's going on here, or maybe I don't. What? This looks like when I take that one out, the previous one comes in, and the one that I jumped over goes away. Looks like it. So that one goes away. And then that one I left comes in. Huh. If I go over here. This is an interesting puzzle. Sort of a strange puzzle. But interesting nonetheless. I'm not sure what I'm trying to accomplish. Do I want to get rid of all of the knives? Or do I want to... Uh, I don't know. Put them in the points only? So now... I'm losing track of sort of where I am at this point in the puzzle. I'm going to have to start again. Yeah, I don't know... Hmm. What's the goal here? Get rid of all of them? I guess. Hmm. Well, we can go this way, I suppose. That puts that one in. So each move takes out two and puts one back in. So it's got to be some sort of cycle that goes around the whole star, I would think, in order to to reach all these different points. Sorry, hit the mic there. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe. Now where am I? See, why can I jump to there? I guess, is it the last knife that got put in that decides where I get to move from? Because that sort of like backs me up, so now I'm here? But no, I'm jumping, I'm going to there. Yeah, I don't really understand how the puzzle decides where I get to move to and where I don't. But apparently that was it. Oh, a little bit of freaking knives flying everywhere, man. I guess I just happened upon the pattern that removed all of them, or at least only left one. Good enough for me. Let's go upstairs. Oh, I love that the staircase is a zone to zone. Gives us time to get the atmosphere. I wish I'd put their own musical track for this section so that you just you would know that you're approaching the end. Speak of the devil. Alright. Well, we made it upstairs, it seems. I'm searching for things. I see a puzzle here. Those scissors look remarkably animated. Shall we puzzle? A 
lots of different kinds of windows. to do top of the house is that what he said oh can I just this is trickier than it looks must be I'm <laughs> not sure what I'm doing why did it move for me just then I don't understand Maybe you can only move to shapes that share some quality? Am I supposed to light up? This is trickier than it looks. Why does it start me over then? I could have gone over here, right? Maybe you can't go to two of the same in a row, but here I do. So I don't suppose. I don't understand why it forces me upward immediately then. Strange. This is tricky. Okay, good advice, Ego, but this is tricky. I don't understand. I don't get it! So... Hmm. This is trickier than it looks. I... I don't know. So I can't go up here. But I can go there. What's the difference? And now it's not that now it's not forcing me to go up. This is trickier than it looks. What are the rules for when you can move from a window and when you can't? And oh well, why was that why was that automatic? Is it just written in? Or This is trickier. Is that just how it works? I don't get it. Why is it when I go there it automatically makes three more moves? If you can go up to that, why can't you go across to this one? I really don't get it. And then it looks like there's nowhere else I can go, except for a a, a, this is <laughs> a move that apparently ends the game. Ah, this is really what? Why? Huh? What the hell was that? <laughs> what? Um. Oh, oh, you. Oh, balls. No, no, no. Let's not. Oh, Stalf. Are you really gonna. Come on. This is. Herbs. Oh, boy. I gotta try and remember this pattern now. So, maybe I can learn from this. Why can't. Why is it moving automatically for me? That wasn't the pattern I took when I won, was it? This is true. I think I went up from there. And I went here, right? Yeah. And then... Then what? This is <laughs> trickier than... I don't remember these things. Well, I can't go anywhere else. That's at that end there, then. This is true. Crap! How did I already forget what I did? Okay, so I started there, I think. Yeah, this was it. I get it. Sometimes, it seems like when I'm on the winning track, there's only one move for me to make. So starting in that circle on the yes middle left of the right side. <laughs> nope, not that window. This is tricky. Got it. Okay. Trial and error can only go so far here. So, I'm thinking it must be that you you can only move the windows that are related in shape. I mean, it has to be. This is like, or maybe it's related in some quality, like has an arch on top or has a crossbar or, or no, I don't know, it has a flat bottom. But I don't actually know. But do all the windows in this pattern have? I mean, they all have so much in common with each other anyway that... But then I don't understand why the, some of the paths seem to be choosing themselves yes. so easily when they could go a number of directions. Huh. <laughs> Not that one! This is trickier than it looks. 
Yeah, I don't, I don't get it. I don't understand. Huh. So yeah, there it went three square windows in a row, so that must not be. <laughs> I'm eliminating these arched windows pretty quickly, aren't I? <laughs> What, in the, what exactly... Why can't I move to this window when they're identical? These two... It doesn't seem to make any sense. Because you don't have to move to a different shape. And you don't always have to go up, either. Yes. I don't understand at all. Okay, well, it's, it seems like I've eliminated four out of the six in that bottom row as starting positions, so... <laughs> we'll find it by trial and error, if necessary. I don't understand the rules. Is there some pattern of, like, one, two, three, one, two, three, like in the previous puzzle? I didn't hear what the hell Stalf was saying at the beginning, because his voice is so quiet compared to the music. Yeah, I don't see any distinguishable pattern there in the, in the order. Circle, half, half, circle, two halves, circle, circle, two folds. I mean, it doesn't... I don't get it. And I don't get why that whole rest of that pattern, it just goes automatically. Yes. I don't... I don't understand! Okay, well apparently that was it. <laughs> Alright. turn the music way up in order to hear what he was saying. I'll try and subtitle that. I'm betting this one. <laughs> no! Hey, <laughs> hey. I got to your attic, Stalf. Not sure how, but there we go. Jeez. Alright. Let's move forward through the attic. Let me go! It's okay, darling. You know I won't hurt you. Just come upstairs. It hasn't happened yet. Let me! No! Let me! It's happening now. I, I've, I've been here before. I've seen all this. Over and over. Help me! Someone, please! Tried to help. Tried to help myself. Always failing. You little brat! Jeez. What was that he said? What was that he said about trying to help himself?
sake! Help me! been changed now. Now and forever. Volume 1? All right. Well, another LP comes to an end. I don't really understand what the hell is going on. <laughs> I'm just gonna say that flat out. I'm a little bit uh confused. Well, we got music going here. Robert Stein the Third. Any relation to RL? Produced by Trilobite. Yeah, so this was an interesting LP. I don't, um... I'm a little confused about... The, the plot, I guess? I don't... Did he... The Fat Man. That was the guy... That's the troll face guy. What the hell? He put his own picture in the game? That's funny. And Team Fat. Okay. Well... So I guess, I mean, eventually, the boy, which turned out to be us, got pulled, which was sort of makes sense. That way the things we've been seeing weren't ghosts, but memories. Some of them, at least, but we weren't there for all of those things, were we? How could we have known about all of that? So maybe memories doesn't make sense either. But what else could it have been? Ho 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 ho. Well, that's the creep, ain't it? Wow, um... So overall, I'm I'm impressed. The game didn't live up to my expectations in a couple of ways, mostly in the game design category, but I think I'm just a much harsher critic now because I've done some computer programming myself and I know how things are supposed to be. But you know, this was made in 93. They did a bang up job. Freaking amazing, honestly. It looks it looks good, it plays well, it doesn't have game breaking bugs. That's a problem with modern games. You know, it's so it's very controlled and well executed. The music, the set list, uh, what I want to know is this this song. Why am I only hearing it during the credits? I guess it's because it has words. <laughs> Key gripe. Duplicates are way too expensive. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. But, uh, yeah, it totally lived to my, to my expectations in terms of puzzle solving. There were a number of interesting and difficult puzzles. The, I think that the pinnacle of this game were for, for me. <laughs> There's a phone number there. Oh, it's fake. Okay, good. That would have been funny if it were real. I would have called him and see what was up. Tad Douglas Knopf. I'm gonna look him up. Ah, we got all the cast of characters. Maybe now we'll actually know these guys' names. I don't know if we know what became of some of these people. Eh. Hamilton. He was. Was he the? Uh, I guess he must have been. <laughs> Elvis. Played by any number of people. Dead Singer played by Elvis. <laughs> Ego as a Man in the Mirror and Fridge Head. Interesting. Yeah, so, um... Man. Yeah, great puzzling. I think the pinnacle of the game for me was the microscope puzzle. I understood it, and I figured out how to play it within only a few minutes. And then it was challenging. It kept me at it for an hour. It was difficult to solve, and it was satisfying to defeat. Uh, a couple of the puzzles, like that last one, I just I looked at it and just did not understand the rules. It wasn't explained enough. I think that those last three puzzles, actually, in a row, I didn't uh, understand the concept of it wasn't presented well enough. And I, I suppose 
that that's when you're supposed to go down to the library and get the first hint. Uh, but I wanted to go through the game without any hints at all, so I guess I made it just a little harder for myself than it needed to be. Any similarity to persons living dead or undead is entirely accidental, and just one more ear feed will produce the proof of the paranormal. And although some really nasty mind games were played, no entities were physically harmed, and that was really fast. Back for more? <laughs> yeah, that's what it does every time you uh, start the game. Oh, what is this? Can we see the final cutscene again or something? The credits? Oh! Oh, is it like a... It's a movie gallery! Hey, do you think that means we're missing a couple? I wonder. I don't know when you'd have to trigger them, though. Lord knows when that would have to start. Yeah, it looks like... Or maybe it's just... No, actually... I think these might just be teleports to different rooms. Yeah. Boom. Hallway. And it puts you right there. Maybe there isn't actually 25 of them, and that's just the coingy dink. Huh. Yeah, so it looks like... So what does this one do? Same thing, I guess. Okay. So what is this gonna do? Start the game over? Ah, well, let's not do that. Anyway, you know, great game. I it <sighs> Different than my memories in some ways, but similar in all the ways that were really important. Great game. I, I suggest you guys go and buy it and try it out for yourselves if you didn't uh, get some of the puzzle solving from watching it. You'll definitely get it from playing it. So, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed my LP of The Seventh Guest. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next LP. I'm calling shenanigans.